In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a broken WordPress website that might have um, become corrupt on a WordPress 5.0 update. And hopefully maybe uh, help some people out there who haven't yet updated and their sites are working just fine, but prevent a break from happening. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna disable all WordPress updates from here on out, um, just until a stable version of WordPress 5.0 does come out. So what we want to do for that is go to plugins and add new and right here in the keyword search you want to type in um, auto disable WordPress or yeah auto disable ah, that's the wrong term to use isn't it disable auto updates there we go but it probably helps if you spell disable right too. Disable. There we go. All right. When you put in disable auto updates, you'll notice that this plugin right here that says Easy Updates Manager will pop up. Go ahead and click Install. The button will then turn into a button that says Activate. You'll click that, and once you do, it'll become grayed out just like this and say Active. Once it's active, you want to go over here to your dashboard and go to update options. Uh, what you'll want to do, uh, my recommendation is to disable the core updates on WordPress and disable the core updates on your theme. Everything else should be okay um, to update, such as your plugins and things like that. But if you want to really play it safe, I just disable all of them until you can get a developer involved, if need be. So I'm not going to go ahead and play around with any of these because this was for informational purposes only. As a developer, I have this stuff in my code so that I don't require a plugin. So the second thing we want to do is install the classic editor. So if you notice, if you go back down the plugins and add new, you should notice the classic editor right here within the, the featured plugins to install. If you don't, go ahead and click classic editor in this search bar and it should come up and again, click active, activate, and that should automatically put your editor back at the classic mode without you having to do much more than create it, make it active. Last thing we're gonna do is if you are a Divi user, um, Divi has its own classic editor built into the options. So if you go to theme options, you go to builder, advanced, you'll notice here enable classic editor is enabled. So you can try enabling their own classic editor and, um, or actually the Divi classic editor and continue to use that as well. Uh, one more thing is if you did experience a break, um, there's a couple of things you can do. You can restore a backup from your host um, by getting in contact with them if and you want to restore it back to its workable version. If you can't, if you don't have backups, which is really scary because I hope everybody has backups. Um, if you don't have backups, what you'll want to do is you can also try, alternatively, if you don't want to get a hold of a developer, um, we don't click add new. And a, but, uh, um, a plugin developers really like is something called WP Rollback. It really helps us to debug things, to, to see what worked, what didn't work, what broke, why it broke, or to, you know, roll back on mistakes of updating too soon. So you want to click in WP Rollback. And you'll notice this little plugin right here called WP Rollback. Go, again, just click Install, click Activate and, until it's active. And then when you go into your installed plugins menu, you'll notice a little button that says roll back the version. And you can choose which version to roll back on. Um, if you need more details on how to roll back on a WordPress version or how to roll back on a theme, um, just go ahead and again, click this more details button. And there should be instructions in here on how to go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna leave that out of this tutorial. If you still are experiencing a broken website and this is far out of your league um, to install these plugins, please hire a developer to do it because, um, you know, obviously we're having to do this every day and we're going to see it on a lot of sites. Um, 
and we'll be able to probably fix it a lot quicker and know the plan of action than, than you'll be able to and, and save you a lot of headache. So hopefully that helps a lot of people uh, and a lot of my clients uh, while we're going through the grapevine of getting everyone updated. So thank you very much.